Hey guys, in this edition today, we're gonna have a look at one of my favorite screening plants, the Green Giant Arborvita. I wanna show you how to have success when you plant this beautiful tree and two major mistakes that many people make when they plant them that guarantees you will kill them every time. Let's have a look at this spectacular screening tree. The Green Giant Arborvita is uh, popular uh, these days and it is known as a screening tree. People use these to build privacy screens with. And the main thing that you need to keep in mind when growing or planting or placing really these arborvitas is you need to think wide open spaces. These things do not do great when they have a canopy of trees, say deciduous trees or even evergreens like pine trees, for example, hanging over the top of them. They need wide open space with lots and lots of sunshine. These things can grow 30 to 40 feet. It's even said maybe taller than that. 12 feet wide at their base, 15 feet maybe. So these get very, very large. So what you need to have in mind, no matter how pretty you think they are, or how much you'd like to have one in your yard, you need to first ask yourself, do I have room for a giant tree? They're not called green giants for no reason. And this is where some people make a mistake in purchasing these. You know, sometimes people will have a space in their yard that's 20 or 30 feet wide and they think, oh, I would like to plant a row of green giants there. Well, the reality is, is that you've, if you're only filling in a small area or if you only need a relatively short space to fill in, a green giant is not going to be your best bet. Uh, remember, these things are prone to growing up into power lines. Uh, they're prone to growing into anything hanging overhead and they grow quickly and they get very, very large. So always consider spacing these things and how much room do I have? You know, one of the great things about a green giant arborvita is they are not particularly fussy about what kind of soil they are planted in. They can thrive in heavier clay soils and sandy loams and more rich or organic rich soils. Uh, they really are gonna do good for you in any environment as long as they don't have too much water around them. If the location you're considering planting your green giants in is one that stays wet for a long time after it rains, if there are puddles that stay there for days or the ground seems to be extraordinarily squishy or splashy for long periods of time, uh, these plants are not going to do very well in those areas. So the main things that you really need to consider is moisture and really too much moisture. Am I planting this in a place that stays wet? And am I planting this in a place that's wide open? If you'll keep those two things in mind, you're going to have success growing green giant arborvitas. Green giants are said to thrive in climate zones four through eight, and different websites will tell you different things about that. But if you know if you're on the edge of one of those zones, if you're kind of on the extreme cold end or in one of the more tropical environments, um, the best way to know if these are gonna survive or thrive in your area is just to look around. Um, are these growing in your area uh, within 50 miles of your location? Um, do you see privacy screens that consist of green giant arborvitas? You know, that's always really the best way to tell if an arborvita or any plant is gonna thrive in your area. Are they growing well in your area? Check this out. This is just an absolutely beautiful uh, positioning and use of these green giants here. There's about 12 of them there, maybe 15, planted in two rows parallel to each other and staggered. And you're talking about a solid screen, um, kind of blocking the view here from this swimming pool over to this house over here. And it's just an absolutely gorgeous use of these trees. Once again, no overhead trees, those there in the background and uh, just really, really awesome specimens here of green giants. And here is an example of some beautiful green giant arborvitas. These are probably 20 to 25 feet tall, straight line, not a dead one in them, and wide open sunshine, and they make a solid, solid screen between this particular yard 
and then there's neighbor in their neighbor's yard you'll notice there's no swamp you'll notice there's no canopy of trees overhead and they just look happy and like they were meant to be here beautiful setup really now this particular row of green giants has been here for about two years and these were nice big trees when they planted them probably 10 feet or so and they're probably 12 to maybe 13 feet or so now and um, they're actually doing pretty well uh, one drawback to this particular hedge is that they're going to get about two to three hours of direct afternoon sunlight and besides that they're going to be shaded uh, by a pretty heavy canopy of trees they got two or three direct hours of sunlight in the afternoon beautiful trees uh, they're in a dry enough spot um, they're not ever going to get really thick and full they're not ever going to get really tall but maybe with time they'll fill in um, not the ideal place to plant these but even with mostly shade these are actually thriving so let's say two to four hours of sun for an arborvita at a minimum and um, they should be okay not optimal but okay and then the examples of what not to do. Now these green giant arborvitas right here, <laughs> they really aren't green at all. They're brown and they're all dead. Uh, they're all dead because they're, this whole area here where I'm standing is a flood zone. This whole neighborhood is, is in a flood zone. But this particular line that these were attempting to mark is on a drainage ditch. You can see where the grass is a little greener there and it stays wet here virtually all the time. These actually used to extend on out towards that road, but um, with time, um, they all died. These got planted here and they were here for just um, maybe a season or two and they never really did anything because they are planted in a swamp. So just a good tip, um, these particular trees do not like to be standing in water. And chances are these were planted here by someone who did not know what green giants were supposed to be because they're only planted about three feet apart anyway. So they weren't expecting these to turn into 30 or 40 foot tall trees, obviously. So you don't have, you want to avoid wet areas. Now, aside from the example of the arborvitas that were planted in the water, this might be the very worst thing you can do with a green giant arborvita. Now, this picture may look innocent enough, but what you're actually looking at here is a green giant that is planted right up against a house. It's actually under the eave of this house. And long term, uh, this is going to be a huge problem. Now at this point, they've sheared this back and this looks like a nice green evergreen shrub and um, what what harm could it possibly cause? Uh, but if this if this tree planted here even goes for one season unattended, if it gets neglected for any reason, um, this tree is going to be growing up under the eave of this house in no time at all. This tree is going to want to spread and it's going to want to grow. Remember what I said about wide open spaces, and this is just a horrible example of placement for a green giant. You know, it's like going out and buying a dog and deciding that you're just gonna chain it up to a tree. I, they just weren't meant for that. This tree was meant to grow and to stretch and be giant and big and beautiful, not to be under the eave of a house. So never, ever, ever place a green giant arborvita where this one is placed. I hope this little short video has been helpful to you in thinking about where you might place or uh, where you might grow your green giant arborvitas or if they're suitable at all to meet the needs that you have for putting up privacy screens. But make sure that you don't make these critical mistakes and kill your plants. Give them a chance to thrive. These things are absolutely gorgeous when they're placed in the right place. And if it's if you don't have the right place to put them, that's fine. Go with another plant. There's plenty of others, and we'll cover those in other videos. But as far as the green giant goes, give it a good home, treat it well, and it will in turn treat you well. This is Savvy Dirt Farmer signing off. Hope everybody out there watching is having a great day today.